Good morning, everyone. It's Phil Wade from Dalton Wade Real Estate Group, and today I'm joined with Talia. Hello. Who has a home inspection. Excuse me, she's all dressed up, but today she's going to do the home inspection. And then Lisa, who's holding the camera. Today we're going to talk about prospecting for, for sale by owners. Um, great, uh, great group of people um, to, um, you know, to kind of let know that you're out there as an agent. So uh, we'll start with where, where you can find them. So you can find them on uh, Craigslist. Uh, you can find them on Zillow. Uh, you, have to, you can sort Zillow by for sale by owner and they'll pop up with their phone number. Um, you can Google for sale by owner um, and a bunch of websites will come up that will have for sale by owners. And you can uh, you know, find them also with yard signs. Um, so there's a bunch of sources um, um, out there to sort of build your build your list. Um, we talked last week about expired and and uh, withdrawing listings. Um, and we mentioned the Red X and Expresso agent. They both also have um, lists of for sale by owners. Um, so digging in a little bit to the for sale by owner mi mindset. You know what can a for sale by owner do in terms of exposing their property to the market? So there's different levels. Um, to know those levels because um, you can sort of um, communicate to them how you're going to help them. So the first level is they have a yard sign. That's it. So they have a sign out in front of their house, that red sign for sale by owner. Uh, that's that's their marketing. Um, so they're probably not getting a ton of traffic off that. Uh, that's the most limited. The next would be the yard sign plus Craigslist. Um, you know, Craigslist isn't what it used to be in terms of you know, people there, it's never really been the greatest site for selling homes, but you can get some exposure. Some people uh, will be will be looking there, but not much. The next one is yard sign, Craigslist, and then Zillow. Um, Zillow does have that for sale by owner feature um, that all agents hate. Um, but, you know, then that person's probably up to maybe anywhere between 30 to 40 percent of the potential buyers kind of knowing that their listing is for sale. And then the last one would be yard sign, Craigslist, Zillow, and then it's on the MLS. The MLS uh, has a feature called limited service agreement where a for sale by owner for a flat fee as little as $99 can put their listing up on the MLS. Um, and then at that level, it does go out to all the other websites, uh, provided that that company that entered it for that for sale by owner has their, you know, back and set up correctly. So assuming they do, um, it's exposed to everybody that it would be exposed to if you, the agent, had listed it. So um, so a lot of times, you're, if they have done that, you're going to hear, well, what can you do for me that I can't already do myself? It's a common kind of rebuttal from that, from that physical. Well, Here's what you can do. Um, you can improve their photography. Uh, you can improve their write-up. You can improve, um, you know, the number of open houses being done. You can improve their social media. Um, so there's a lot of avenues, um, you know, and, and this is from personal experience. Um, when I was up north in Boston, um, I probably had at least six occasions where I had a for sale by owner listing. It had been on the MLS. I got listing. I uh, got canceled. I was able to re-enter it, reposition the property, re-photograph it, and, and this, I was able to sell the house within 30 days because that for sale by owner wasn't really anywhere as good as me in terms of marketing their property. So that's kind of what you've got to, you know, what you've got to convince them that you're going to do a better job marketing their property. That's going to get it sold and that's going to get it sold for more, for more money. Um, why, and other reasons why their property might not be selling, they didn't, they didn't prepare the house, you know, they just put it out there, they didn't, you know, stage it or declutter, um, they didn't price their property correctly. Um, many times you see for sale by owners, their, their price um, too high, um, you know, poor marketing of their home, we just talked about, um, unwilling to work with a buyer's agent. Again, you know, that person's, the buyer is trusting their buyer's agent, but that, that for sale by owner is not willing to pay any commission whatsoever. Um, doesn't know how to screen buyers. Takes an offer from somebody that's not pre-approved or pre-qualified. Um, pressures buyers, you know, they pressure the buyer when they're doing the showing. They're all over them. I mean, we've all kind of been in there for sale by owner and they're, you know, aggressive pointing out all the features and that buyer you know just wants to be left alone with their agent and it's a big turnoff um, 
you know, they're not available to show the property. They're working and they can't get the people through. Um, they don't know how to negotiate or they're not good at negotiating. Um, and then they also have trouble negotiating the home inspection. All these things cause, you know, them to not get their, you know, not to get their, um, you know, their home sold. Um, so again, if you're, when you start calling them, you need to gain their trust. Um, you need to quickly communicate that you're going to fix their problems along the marketing or if their property isn't really being exposed, it just got the yard sign in Craigslist uh, that you're going to fix that for them by getting them up on the MLS. Um, and at the bottom line, so many times for sale by owners think they're going to sell the house for the same amount that you're going to sell it for. And then why would they ever use a real estate agent? Well, the truth is you're going to more than likely be able to sell it quicker and for more money. So it's not the commission that they should concern themselves, it's what they get at closing. But a lot of them just say, oh, my house is going to sell for this, I'm not going to pay the 3% to the listing agent, you know, and that's why they, they, they do it themselves. Um, now, again, sometimes to get their listing, you know, you have to lower your commission. Um, you're speaking, you know, their language, um, and their language is cheap. <laughs> You know, that they're, they're frugal. They don't want to, you know, they're, they're doing it themselves to save money. That's, that's usually, there's two reasons. They hate realtors. You're never getting their listing if they're a FISBO, had a bad experience somewhere, or um, they want to save money. So you have to be able to communicate, to, you know, appeal to them on their, on their wanting to save money by potentially, you know, lowering what you're going to charge them. Now, why would you do that? Well, you would do that because by having their listing, you're going to get to do open houses, you're going to have your sign out in front, you're going to get to do some social media, all which could help you get a buyer or two. So that, that listing is actually going to give you more in terms of commission dollars than just the listing, right? Bill has a story, his first listing in Florida, he did it for half a percent. The lady was a $900,000 listing. Um, she had been on the MLS. She wasn't giving it to an agent, but I made it so compelling for her. She was offering 3% to the buyer's agent. I did it for a half a percent, and then we gave the buyer's agent 2.5%. So for her, it wasn't costing her anything more, right? So, But I professionally photographed the house. I told her I'd do open houses. I got the listing, right? So now I've got a listing. Awesome. My first listing in Florida. What happened? I sold it. Took me like ten months. I did eventually sell that property. Um, I met one buyer that I contacted me um, online. I showed them the property. They weren't interested. We struck it up. I ended up selling them another property. I made twenty seven thousand dollars because they were a nine hundred thousand dollar buyer, and I got a referral um, that I made another eleven thousand dollars. So if I, this lady, trust me, she was not you know she was bombarded by by agents wanting to charge her six percent. You, know, you got to think sometimes a little bit outside the box, but again, it's up to you. You can, you know, um, sometimes people don't want to do that, meeting the agent, and that's that's fine too. Um, you know, so things to remember again, um, they get a ton of calls. Uh, they're bombarded with calls. You've got to, you know, show your value. Um, you know, some some fizzbos will never ever give their, you know, their listing to anyone. They hate realtors had a bad experience, they're not paying anybody any commissions. Whether that's beneficial to them or not is, is you know, I personally don't think it is. Um, you know, find out if they're willing to work with a buyer's agent. It kind of tells you that, you know, they're willing to pay some commission, usually the 3%. Well, now maybe you can get them up to paying 4.5%. Or, you know, you get 2% and then you lower the buyer's commission to 2.5%. They're not going to miss a showing. It's not really going to cost them all that much more. Um, you know, sometimes it takes a few phone calls to, uh, I um, got another, again, right when I first started in Florida, listing right around, I think it was 779000 um, I called that guy probably eight times, but eventually he got tired and he wore out. And because I had been in touch with him and continued to follow up with him, I was the person that ended up getting that listing. Um, and then have some goals, you know, calling, expired, withdrawns, and for sale by owner, it's, it's the most important thing you can do as an agent, but agents, unfortunately, don't do it. It's, it's the most important, but it's the thing that seems to get, 
you know, least done. We touched a little bit upon, you know, the Red X um, uh, Expresso agent as resources to uh, provide you with some of the phone numbers. Um, and then there's a ton of videos up on, up on, uh, up on YouTube in terms of, um, you know, other agents' thoughts on prospecting for sale by owners. Ladies, any questions? Anybody with uh, any questions in Facebook land? No? Can I get a second? The redx.com, and basically you can order it. So if it doesn't work, um, you can always cancel. So there's no one no, no. Now remember, again, the numbers are giving you the leads they're providing for you. They're, they're giving those leads to, you know, new so It's more of a tool um, to make prospecting easier. Any other questions? All right. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, uh, we will be back next week with another interesting and exciting topic. Thank you.